Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to make a Polaroid photo with photo inside and then we will sellotape it to a wooden board. Always we are going to do in GIMP 2.8. Let's first have a look at the final result, which is going to look like this. Ok, now let's start it. Open GIMP, make a new layer. 400 by 340 pixels in vertical position. Now make a new transparent layer and then take a rectangular select tool and make a selection. Just drag your selection from one corner to another one and then pull the sides towards the middle and watching the tools options it will show you in the size when you reach the square. This is what we exactly need in the middle. Now we need to invert our selection, so go to Select, Invert. Take the bucket tool and fill our selection with white color. For now it's going to be white, a bit later we're going to change it for a bit yellowish. Create another transparent layer, move it below the layer with white frame. Select layer with white frame, take fuzzy select and click in the middle to select the empty space. Now we need to shrink our selection by one pixel, so go to select shrink. Ok, let's invert our selection, then we need to choose for our foreground color is light grey color. And then take bucket tool and fill our selection with grey color. Select none and then I will show you now by zooming what actually we did now because with this 80% zoom you can't see anything. As you see we just achieved the effect of our white frame to appear a bit thicker. This is it. Ok, now we need to change the color of our white frame. So, um, take the light yellow color and then lock your pixels, transparent pixels of the white frame layer and fill the selection. Now we are going to add a bit of vignette to create the effect of the old. So, make a new transparent layer and go to the tools option. Choose GAGL operation and then choose Vignette. Drag the sliders of radius and softness up to your taste, but set your transparent layer to grain merge to see the effect straight away. Also reduce the opacity of the layer to make it a bit effect with a bit lighter. So with vignette I was just trying to make our corners look a bit darker. This is it. Ok, now let's uh, move forward and do some more things. We are not far away from the ending, by the way. Ok, switch off your background layer. Then go to image and merge visible layers. So we're going to match just top three layers into one. Ok, now we need to increase the canvas of our image. So go to image, canvas and then we're going to increase it by 60 pixels on each side. Uh, and then we're going to click center and OK. Make a new transparent layer and move it below your background layer. Now go to patterns and find pattern called pine 100 by 100. Take the bucket tool, in tool options choose pattern fill and fill our empty layer with this pattern. Time to add a shadow, select your top layer with white frame, go to 
Filters, Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow. Choose 3 pixels for both offsets and the blur radius 9 and leave allow resizing clicked. Ok, now we have our shadow, let's reduce the opacity a bit and then we can move on. I have prepared already a little image here, I have resized it according to my needs and I'm going to now copy this and paste it to the image with frame. This image should be placed below the white frame and drop shadow layer. Using the move tool I'm moving my image to the position which I like and uh, make sure that in tool options you have move the active layer activated. Now as a little addition I'm going to add two stripes of cello tape to the image. So let's create a new transparent layer. Now with a uh, free select tool make a selection in the way of little rectangle. Now go to paths and uh, convert this selection to path. This helps to reduce the jagged ends of the selection. Make a new selection from the path and then fill it with white color. In tool options don't forget to switch back to foreground color fill. Select none and then repeat the previous step creating another little white stripe just in the bottom part of the image. Don't forget to turn your selection to path and then back to selection. Now reduce the opacity of this layer with these white stripes to make it more realistic. Now we are ready to flatten our image. So go to image, flatten. I'm going to zoom in this image now to show you the final result and basically this is it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching! And don't forget to subscribe because new tutorials are coming soon.